New Amazon metric system, it is now regulating whether or not we can send inventory for the following quarter. Uh, one of the metrics that are, I think people are overlooking that is the easiest to fix is actually your SKUs to restock today. Although it says zero here, um, what you don't know is that there are actually more inside your dashboard and you can remove as many items as you want from your inventory and have zero excess units. And if you don't take care of the SKUs to restock today, your metrics are still going to be bad. So you click inventory dashboard. And then once you're inside inventory dashboard, you want to click on the tab restock inventory. And as you saw on the first page, it said that there were zero items needed to be restocked yet in here. You always click clear filters also because sometimes it won't show items. And then when you, clear filters more will pop up inside of here it's saying there's 4,400 items that need to be restocked you have to basically tell Amazon that you want to hide these recommendations so you click action on 50 selected hide a recommendation okay and this can take a while because if you have a lot of SKUs as you can see the number changed by 50 you literally have to go through and do all of them down to zero. That metric now, it'll show legitimately that you have zero SKUs to restock. The thing is, once you send in more inventory, you're going to have to do this again because any new inventory that you add, um, if you don't have any in stock or even when it's inbound, it's going to say, it's going to show up here as needing to be restocked. So I go in every couple days or once a week and I always clear my filters and hide all of my restock inventory. Um, obviously this isn't my account, but that was one of the things that I noticed when I first started. You can also avoid this um, by not having to go in here and do this. You see all of these are out of stock. If you're not going to be sending the items in again, um, you could simply just go to your inventory and select that you want to view all of your inactive items and then you can um, literally I would start at the last page because the first page if it has a drop down um, it's inactive but it's it's being sent to someone so as you can see it's reserved um, so once it's shipped it'll just be a black zero I always would just start on the last page um, and then just go ahead and delete the items that you maybe you had some of and you're not getting them back in again um, and once you get those out of here then Amazon's never going to tell you that you need to restock it again um, I have a lot of items that I've made listings for that are seasonal obviously I don't want to delete those listings because I created them and I have intentions on sending those items back in so those are the items that I would you know go back into my inventory dashboard and I would just hide go back to restock inventory. I would want to hide the recommendations on those because I don't need Amazon reminding me that I am out of stock on a Christmas item that I don't intend to send in until closer to Christmas. And if I don't hide the recommendation, it is going to affect my metrics because Amazon is viewing me as out of stock on an item that I currently have in my inventory. So that is why you either want to delete the items that you are no longer going to sell anymore or hide the items that you are still going to sell but that you do not plan on sending in anytime soon and that is the one of the main things that will um, improve your metrics for storage um, as well as making sure that you fix your stranded inventory take the time to go in and remove these things or relist them because as you can see there's only three items in stranded inventory right now in this person's account however when I go to the view inventory dashboard and I click on the performance tab to see exactly where my account is lacking or where this person's account is lacking um, the stranded inventory is in the light green and there's only three items in, in there but you can also see in stock inventory is all the way down in the red if this person just fixed this metric cleared them all out they would have two of them in the green and that would definitely improve this number and probably get it over the 350 that's needed for the unlimited storage for the next quarter so I hope that that's helpful um, definitely make sure that you make it a habit to um, take care of your in stock alerts it is one of the metrics that's the easiest to take care of to improve your numbers thank you